Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to the um, Continental M17 Club. I hope I'm live. I, I, I'm checking also on my cell to make sure that I'm... Uh, I think so. I think I'm okay. Okay, so today... Ah, oh, maybe here, yeah. Uh, wait, never, oh yeah, somebody is there, so I'm okay. So today will I will show you, uh, my uh, sorry my name is Celine Ross and I am an educator for Genomic Canada. So today we're going to sew with elastic thread in the bobbin. Okay? And I'm using of course because it is a Continental Club M17 I'm going to use that machine for sure. So how, when do we use this? You know, this is not new, huh? but uh, it's an older technique. It's, it, it's there since years, but it's like we forget about it. So when do we use this? Especially for smoking for kids, you know, a kid's uh, uh, garment or summer dresses, t-shirt, cuff, you know, some area that you want to, uh, to shear. So I'm going to turn the camera and, and you see the machine, okay? So we have to prepare the machine for this technique. First of all, I am in French. So I'm going to my adjustment and I'm going to switch my machine in English. Okay, number one. Number two. I do not want my thread cutter. That's for sure. So again, sewing, thread cut after auto lock off. Okay, then I'm okay. So that is the first adjustment or the first uh, preparation I can do. Number one. Number two, I need a stitch lock at the beginning and a stitch lock at the end of my seam. So how do I do this? I'm going to choose, you know, when you turn on your machine, right away you have the utility stitches category. Huh? So I'm going to choose the third stitch, number three, which has a lock stitch at the beginning and I will ask at the end to have it. But see here, there's no more icon, but when I touch this number, this pattern, two icon ap appears. You see, it's not there, it's there. And what is this? This is the number of lock stitch you would like to have at the beginning and at the end of the seam. So I want only three stitches. It's enough, you know. So you see, with this machine, Continental M17, you can... Tell the machine how many lock stitch in the, into place you want, you want. You want five, six, two, one, whatever. So I'll say three is enough because I, I need the machine to, um, I need the lock stitch hold my elastic. Okay. Then I'm coming to my elastic. So bonjour, Marthe. Patricia is there also. I do not have this machine, but 15,000. Of course, same thing in your 15,000, but you cannot adjust the, uh, the number of lock stitch. So leave it as it is. There's no problem there. It's just something, it's more, you know. It is a little bit more. So you'll learn something. Don't worry here. Okay. So uh, here I'm ready. So remove my thread cutter. And uh, because um, if I... Leave it there. The machine will keep cutting, cutting, cutting. You know, it's too thick and too stretchy for the thread cutter. Then, of course, I'll move the camera. Okay. Of course, I need elastic thread. This is really popular. Okay. You can find this in any, um, any uh, good store, you know, um, Notion store. You know, in Montreal, we have a Fabricville, but... Uh, you know, it's popular. This is not hard to find. Be careful because there's some different thick, uh, thickness. Huh? There's some thicker and then some thinner. So 
for what I'm doing now, this is the, um, the, the right size, the most popular one. Okay. Now you cannot, the, this elastic thread will be in the bobbin only in, yeah, in the bobbin only. But you cannot wind it with your regular winding. You have to do it by hand. And you see, I don't want this to ravel. So I'm using the Genome bobbin holder. And I did it by hand. I roll it by hand with a little bit of tension. Just a little bit. I didn't stretch it. This is why I don't want to do it with my machine. I just make sure that I'm... I'm giving just a bit of attention, okay? That's one thing. I'll leave it there because I want to show you something else. And then this is me, personal. Somebody else will have an, an other idea. Me, I like to use, you know, you need less tension in your bobbin. And if you play with the screw, to release the, the bobbin tension, the bobbin holder tension. Oh, yeah, yeah, how, you know, it's hard to bring it back and people have problems. You don't want this. So I'm going to lock my machine, lift my needle plate, and I will remove for the Continental M7, teen, teen, I, forgot, I don't want to forget the teen. Huh? The regular 10 gram is with the yellow dot. 15,000 is a red dot, okay? So this is 10 grams. Me, I want to insert the eight gram, less tension. And if you see, if you notice here, bobbin holder, low tension for Continental M7, okay? M7, M17, the same. But M15 is not the same as M7. So when you buy, when you order to your dealer, be careful. Tell, you have to tell them which machine you have because this one won't fit. Trust me, I know. Okay. So now I'm using this bobbin holder, the blue dot, which is supposed to use, if you have a regular thread, you, it's, supposed, it's, it's giving you a handlock sewing. Okay, it's working very good. So instead of playing with the, the adjust the ten, tension screws, oh, I, I want to keep my, my stuff safe. Okay, so I'm going to insert this in. Okay, well, okay. make sure I'm right in front of my little uh, spring and put the needle plate back. Okay, and Make sure the proper pressure foot is attached. Okay, okay, unlock. I'm okay here. Then the other thing is for a straight stitch, the machine asked me, okay, the this, this, this stitch tells me, the machine tells me to use the A foot. Well, not for the elastic thread. For regular sewing, yes, but for this one, you have two choices, F or F2. This must be, must be F1 and F2. For today, I want you to see well, either one is good. So I want you to see well, I'll use F2. You know, underneath is, is um, a bit deep. So it'll allow the shearing. Okay. But before I put it in, I will insert my bobbin thread, my bobbin elastic thread. Okay. Remove the cover. I don't put this in right away because I want you to see well. And I'm taking my thread. And the way I, I insert is the same way. But I just slide my elastic to the first tension. Just the first tension. I'm not sure if I can enlarge here. Yeah, just here. I don't do the whole path here. I don't do it. Just my first tension, which is uh, silver. And needle down, needle up once to bring my elastic. You see how easy it came? You know, no matter what, this is thicker and it has a tension. Okay. And I can 
close my cover, no problem. I can add my foot, snap on my foot, F2. And you remember, uh, always the thread underneath the foot and in my thread holder. I hope you see well. I'll, I'll, I'll do this. You see my thread holder on the side. From the back to the front, it cuts. From the front to the back, it holds the thread. So, you know, it's not in my way. I don't have to do anything. Everything is in two place. So now you need fabric. So this fabric is for is a soft fabric and stretchy. You know what we're going to do today? I should have told you. Huh? It's a headband, which is oh, let me show you. This is a headband. Okay. No, I I zoom too much. Okay, headband. You see. With elastic, elastic thread. This is the one I just did previously. See? Again. Whoa. Okay. Okay. So I'm using a piece of fabric. The piece of fabric that I recommend, but it depends on your head. Huh? I'm using six inches wide by uh, 20 long, but if you do for a kid, well, it's uh, smaller. Huh? I like it, you know, when you do a bathrobe, because this is for um, PJs and uh, for a bathrobe, for, uh, for the winter, of course. Huh? And it's really soft fabric, stretchy, and the peel, you know, it's not long, and it is different from the front to the back. So this is my right side of the fabric. So what I want to do, I want to sew on the right side of the fabric all the time. And how I'm going to do this? Rows after rows after rows. I don't have, you know, this is not wide, huh? so I don't, I won't have to, to sew uh, uh, 20 rows, okay? So I'm ready to go. So this is, I'll remove. I have enough room to put everything away from me. And then I want to sew first in the middle. How do you go straight? Because I'm in the middle. I have not, nothing else here to help me to go straight. Oh, no problem. I'm going to remove my cover, my uh, bobbin cover. Cover, bobbin, bobbin cover. I never know what to say. Okay. And I'm going to use the, the um, uh, uh, yeah, fabric guide. Mm, not sure if I have the right word down there too, huh? Clot guide, clot guide. Bon, it's coming in my head. But by the time it translates, okay? So I have the M17 and I'm using my clot guide. But if you have another machine, you have a clot guide. Like, like uh, Patricia, you said you have the 15,000. Well, you have another type of clot, clot guide, okay? But if you have an M7, you can buy this club guide because it'll fit to your M7, okay? And then I'm going to adjust. So I just want to make sure I'll put it here. I'm going to hold my fabric, okay? And I'm going to slide up to where I want and I will lock, I want to lock it. And of course, I'm not sewing on top of the needle, huh? I hear this sometimes from students. Me, I have a good machine. It sews over pins. Oh, yeah? Until you have an accident. So we do not sew over pins, huh? Okay. So I'm okay. I don't go fast huh? because I'm really doing something uh, uh, almost new. Huh? It's, not, it's not usual that I sew elastic, okay? And you'll hear uh, a noise like a quick, quick, quick. Okay? So, because the elastic is in the tension. Oh, no, no, stop. Hey, and I forgot to tell you something. And my stitch length at four minimum. No. Four. Stitch length at four. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, Celine. Four. Four, five, four, fifty, five. No problem. So, you go. It has to sew. Uh, you see the difference? You see the shearing at the back? Yeah, you see. 
So my eyes are here. My, my, my needle knows where to sew. Me, I guide my fabric against the cloth guide. And the machine is, is sewing, regular sewing. Okay, I let go. And at the end, lock stitch. And I remove the, uh, uh, the electronic or automatic thread cutter. Needle up, foot up. And I pull myself, and I want to have a good length of elastic. See, because when I let it go, it's short. And second row. Whoops, hold on. Okay, in the thread holder. And I'm going to clean this. I hate when we have thread, uh, loose, long strand of thread. Look at this. And what's at the back? My elastic. I hope you see well. Okay. Now I need a second row. I need rows. Okay. And you decide. You want them how? 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 How separate? How uh, separate or how wide you want your top stitching? Half of an inch, not, not less than half of an inch for that thicker fabric. Half of an inch, three quarter of an inch, one inch, but not more than one inch neither. It's a headband, huh? So you see, let's say I'm doing half of an inch. I'm going to add five rows. Because here it's not finished. I'll need to put an elastic and close it, huh? So maybe this time I will use three quarter of an inch. Just to show you something else. So three quarter of an inch is right here. And you see, my cloth guide has the um, marking on top its inches. And at the bottom, the, the marking engraving here is uh, uh, metric. So, this time, okay, I'm going to start. See, I don't go that slow, okay? And then I'm just going to pull gently just gently, just, I don't want to pull the whole thing. It's just to let go my shearing from the previous row. And I let go. Okay, let's go. My eyes are here. Because I want to sew straight, huh? You hear a little noise, but uh, that's no problem. It's just the tension from the bobbin. And at the end, again, lock stitch. Lock stitch. Do not use the thread cutter because it'll keep cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. See? Pull. Second, whoops, second row. See? So what I did, I did the center first, then on this side. I'm going to turn this on the other side because I have the right measurement here. So I don't have to, to move, to slide uh, uh, again, you know. So third row, usually it's odd number. Okay. And again, the same thing, just gently pull the elastic just to flap the fabric. I'll show you my other sample after. I know it's scary, the noise, but don't worry. It doesn't damage anything. It's just the elastic that is uh, really uh, tight in the tension. That's why I just use it. Um, okay. Up, up, pull, and that's it. So you keep going like this. Okay. So when it's done and you have uh, by chance, oh, hold on, I want to read good. By chance, would that cloud guide fit on the, no, it won't fit on the 15,000. It is so much nicer than the one we have. 
Well, you know, I know that this is what you think, but we, we, I had nine years, my 15,000, and I still have my 15,000. Look, it's waiting for me. But I like that club guide. But you cannot use this one here because the length of the machine is, you'll have to cut the club guide and it's metal. It's not possible. This is so much longer than the other one. So you'll have to use uh, what you have. Or, or, you know, when you change your machine, this comes with the machine, huh, Patricia? I'm just joking. Okay. So you see the result when I did three quarter of an inch on each side. But previously, because I was teaching in French before, you see here I did half of an inch and here I did one inch. See the difference? So you have to test and test and, and uh, choose whatever you want. My preference is small, but this is me. Every taste is, is good. So you see, so here I have three quarter of an inch, one inch, half of an inch. Oh, really half of an inch gives a good, good, nice effect. So I have one, two, three, four, five rows here. And I stop there. Here I would have to make two more. It's not hard to do. Huh? And um, if... Um, when I'm finished, what do I do? I need to go to my serger to surge my serger or sewing machine to surge an elastic. I'm really, thank you. I didn't think of the bed length. Okay, difference. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know there's so many things huh, that we have to think. But, okay, that's the bed here. Okay. So maybe you say, eh, do we have to surge the strip of fabric before? No, no. There's no need. But you see, me, I cut a strip, but it's 60 some inches uh, long, no, wide. So if I, and you know what? I bring it home and I hear and I show this to my student and ta, ta, ta. And you know, I don't like to have those, uh, th 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 that the fluffy stuff all over the place. So by the time I do something with it and I had to wash it and, everything. So just to stay clean, I surge it, but there's no need. Now what I would do, I'm going, me, I have a serger, 82,000. Okay. I would surge an elastic here on both sides like I did. So this is my sample. I'm going to remove, you see this, I'm going to remove it because this is my teaching one. So you see, hold on. You see, I put my elastic, I, I sew it, then you turn it and you top stitch the elastic for a clean edge. I'm telling you right away, I don't like this one, but there was my first, uh, my first uh, uh, sample because it's too narrow. Look at the difference between with the other one. I did it wide, the top stitching wide, you see? See this one, because it's too narrow, it rolls. I don't like that. So it's just a straight stitch. The elastic is into place. The elastic is into place, there's no problem. I'm just gonna remove my straight stitch, my top stitching and redo it further, just further, because I, I want to have a nice wide effect here, okay? So then when you sew your elastic on both sides, you have to finish one seam. You have a tube, huh? So you have to, to sew it. And see, I serge it because you want a clean job, huh? So what I did here, you see, after I'm finished, I serge my two ends and I sewed them together. It looks small but it stretches a lot, huh? Okay. And then I sew it and this one is done. Okay. But when it's done, uh, you like, uh, with, there's a bow here, but this is removable. Okay. So this is just a tube with your leftover. So I just made a tube, you know, right sides together and then turn it. 
to hold. So, coming here, and I hide my seam. So, hide your seam and make a little sewing, just a little sewing to put them together. Okay, to, to, to squeeze it. And you can leave it like this, no problem. If you want to make a bow, the bow is just a rectangle. You see, it's not even finished yet. Okay, and I slide it underneath. If you want. Okay, so what I did is, in my leftover, uh, maybe I should move my screen like this. Yeah, like this. Okay. So what I did is my, a leftover. Right sides together, you sew a seam, leaving a little opening in the center. And then flat it and sew both sides. And turn it, you see I didn't sew this one, turn it on the right side of the fabric and you slide it underneath your um in the front if you want if you want you know no, not everybody has the same taste maybe you don't want that bow on top and when you wash it you know you can remove that little bow okay okay so that is what uh, this is what you have to do uh, this is what you have to do okay so remember no thread cutter Stitch length four five, okay. Elastic thread, uh, elastic thread that you wound by hand. Don't use the machine. I just want to show you. <coughs> I did it by hand, you know, around my bobbin. You may ask me, oh, can I buy these Genome um, bobbin? Well, no. This is when I went to teach for the Opera, uh, European Institute in French. In, uh, we were in uh, Portugal. So this is uh, a gift, like, uh, in, uh, I don't know, a promotional item. So I keep them. Huh? Nobody can steal them from me. So you wind it by hand with a little tension. Not a big tension, just to make sure and try to wind it even to have no problem. And of course, bobbin holder, low tension with the blue dot. And what is really useful is your clot guide. Okay. If I want to prevent, you see, if I leave it that, like this, when you do elastic, when you do shearing, you don't make one bobbin. You have to make a few because it, there's not there's no not so much on the bobbin huh? because the thread is the elastic is thick, so you don't want a, a big mess. Make sure you hold it. Uh, you see, I'm saying, and then I don't do it. Okay, make sure you do it clean in your bobbin holder, and nothing is falling apart. You know, you, it's pleasant when everything is clean. Okay, and Genome has the right tool for us. So, so I hope you enjoy and you learn something. Especially, enjoy is one thing, but learning is more important that, uh, than enjoying. And um, I'll turn the camera just like this. Yeah. Okay. So I wish you all a good weekend. I'm okay. I write on time. So I wish you all a good sewing weekend. It's really cold here in Montreal. Ooh. It's winter, okay? And uh, I'll see you, everybody, next week. Bye-bye, everybody.